But we begin overseas tonight in Ukraine with a dramatic rescue mission to free a U.S. Air Force veteran captured by Russian forces in Ukraine earlier this year. ABC News was given exclusive access inside the rescue mission, which resulted in not only the release of an American, but 64 Ukrainian soldiers. Swady Murakhazy had been living in Ukraine since 2018. He says he spent three months in a prison and was tortured. Murakhazy's release comes less than a week after WNBA star Brittany Griner was freed in a high-stakes prisoner swap with Russia involving Victor Boot. And as the U.S. is actively trying to secure the release of American Paul Whelan, who's been sentenced to 16 years in prison on espionage charges. For more on how this latest mission played out, Tom Sufi Burge leads us off with the daring mission and what comes next. American Swady Murakhazy walking out of Russian-controlled territory with just a small bag of belongings, but tonight free. Slava Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine and happy liberation, says an officer from Ukrainian military intelligence who got him out. Swady, I'm Tom from ABC News. Our team given exclusive access inside their rescue mission. After weeks of delicate negotiations, one man from Minnesota is heading home in time for Christmas. Now, you know, it's possible. I'm in Ukrainian land, so it's quite overwhelming. Relief? Relief, yes. Big relief. Quite a relief, yes. Earlier, our team in a convoy with the Ukrainians heading towards the front lines. We're heading away from Ukrainian-controlled territory towards Russian-controlled land through the grey zone, effectively no man's land and the front lines. And there's effectively a two-hour window, a ceasefire, within which the exchange has to be made. You're just about to go in and get sweaty out. How complicated are these missions? Andriy saying 64 Ukrainian prisoners part of a swap, with Swady allowed out of Russian-controlled territory too. Swady had left the U.S. to live and work in southern Ukraine in 2020. When Russia invaded in February of this year, everything changed. Well, at first, I woke up in the morning and there were, a lot of, there were bombings. And then I checked uh, Instagram and there were videos of uh, burned cars. And first I thought it was, uh, it, was, you know, it, it was a prank. It was not real. There's no way it could be real. Swady then joining the protests in his home city of Kherson against the Russian occupation. But he was later arrested, and when the Russians discovered pictures of him formerly serving in the U.S. Air Force, he says he was tortured. They punched me in the face, and then uh, a, few, a few days later, uh, used electricity, uh, punched me in the stomach. But that wasn't the worst part. The worst part for me was uh, just hearing other people screaming, Hearing women screaming, women being tortured, it was just, uh, it was just crazy. The Russians released Swedi from prison several weeks ago. But he says he didn't have a passport and that's why he couldn't leave Russian-held land. Uh, I felt quite trapped. I wasn't, I wasn't sure where things were moving. But uh, I was still a little bit little relieved uh, because uh, I, I just got out of prison, you know, so I, had, I could walk, I could feel the sunshine on my skin. You know, so that was still better than being in basements and prisons. This was Swady earlier this month, staying in what Ukrainian officials describe as a safe location in the Russian-occupied city of Donetsk in eastern Ukraine. Tonight, he is free and focused on the what next. How much are you looking forward to getting back to America and seeing your family? I'm quite excited, quite excited. So I'm, uh, I can't wait to see my mom, my father, everybody, and I can't wait for uh, hot showers. So <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had hot showers in a while. I'm sure that will feel tremendous after all he has endured. Tom Sufi Burridge joins us tonight from Ukraine. Tom, uh, what's next for Murakhazy? Yeah, Lindsay, tonight, Swedi Murakhazy is in Kiev. The Ukrainians will surely want to ask him about his time in Russian-controlled territory. But when he gets home to the U.S., he said he can't wait to have a peanut butter sandwich, something he was dreaming about when in a Russian prison. Lindsay? All the comforts of home. All right, Tom, our thanks to you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.